Hey, Advanced Orchestra. <clears throat> so this is your third cycle without me. Um, you made it. I'll be back next time. Um, <clears throat> so I know you guys have been awesome for Miss Rudolph, and I appreciate that very much. We were very lucky to have her, and make sure you say thank you. All right, so today we're going to work on no reading stuff. We're going to work on a hand bone, and we're going to lurk, work, lurk. <laughs> we're going to work on page 21. Now, um, Fiddler's Hoedown, I'm not going to do today, but that doesn't mean you stop practicing. Um, make sure that you, in the Google Classroom for Beginning Orchestra, I sent you all invites. In the Google Classroom, you will see um, links to each part. So if you play violin one, there's your part. Violin two, viola, cello, and all that good stuff. So um, practice along with those tracks okay now um next early morning rehearsal for you advanced crew is december 1st that's the week after thanksgiving but i will be back on the 22nd okay i'm so excited to be back i already i haven't even left yet and i'm excited to come back all right so uh let's start with ham bones so go ahead and take that out so <clears throat> the great thing about ham bone is that everybody's playing the same part Unlike Fiddler's Hoedown, which has multiple parts, Hambone is just one part. And what's even better is that it is literally like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measures repeated. So look, right? B, G, G, E, G, G, B, right? <clears throat> here, to get, here it is again, B, G, G, E, G, A, G. Here it is again, right? So it repeats itself over and over again. So once you get it once, you'll have it for the whole thing, like the whole song. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to put the tracks. Oh, I might be able to put the tracks in Google Classroom. So keep an eye out for them if you um, need them. So uh, you have two measures of rest. It seems like you have two measures of rest between each of the sections. Um, the music, the background music will continue during those two measures of rest. and. Right now, I want you to count them one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. But by the time we actually get to performance, you'll have done it so many times that you'll just be able to hear the background music and know that eight beats has gone by. All right, so let's start right on measure three, right where you come in. I guess it would help if I turn on the keyboard, right? So it's one on A to three on G. So guys, when you're doing the one on A to three on G, and for you two cello, one on, one on A to four on the D string, not G, I meant four on, right. The best thing to do, right, would be to get three ready to go. See how I'm kind of like hovering it over the string? So you would end up playing one, three, three. Like leave your one on the A string and then shift it over, shift it back. One, three, shift it over. Okay, so if you have to just continuously practice that transition from one on A to three on G, or three on D. All right, so here we go from the top. Measure three, right where you come in. Here we go, one, two, one on A, here we go, go, D three. Two, 
five, eight beats of rest, but you don't count it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? All right. Now take out, oh, the note reading. So violins, you're on 27. Violas and cellos, you're on um, six. So go ahead and get that out. So now we've got all the notes on the D string, right? D is zero, E is one for both uh, viola, all violins, violas and cellos. Um, F sharp is two for you, violas and violins, uh, three for you, cello, and then G is three fingers on D, violins and violas, and four fingers on D for you, cello. All right, so let's start with number one. I'm not, I'll say something the first time, but the rest of them I won't. You'll be on your own. Starting with open D. One, two, ready, open D, go. tricky you're kind of jumping around it's not like just zero one two or two one zero it kind of jumps around back and forth so here we go uh zero number four ready go exciting exercises but they're necessary so you must practice them thank you all right book stuff page 21 number 72 and 73 all right rhythm rap buckeye salute so the rhythm rap um, we've come across these before. No note is, um, specified. It's just the one line. So this is purely the rhythm activity. Play them on any string you want, any note you want. doesn't matter to me. Um, I like to do it on D because it's our most comfortable string. And then you can concentrate just on the rhythm instead of the other stuff. All right. So rhythm rap. So let's look at the counting. The counting goes... Down. Counting goes something like this. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, four. Now, the book does something I hate. The book includes counts on quarter notes. I don't like that. They don't belong there. Okay, so I'll show you. I crossed them out. So it becomes one, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three. Did I cross? Oh, four. It looks like an and from here. One, two, 
and three and four, one and two and three, four is a rest, okay? Now, the rhythm wrap sets you up for the rhythm of Buckeye Salute, which is number 73. All right, so let's start the rhythm wrap. Let's do open D. All right. Hmm. All right, so it's gonna go like this. One, two, and three. Let's do it together on open D. Ready? Here we go. Go. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three. Rest. Open D. One, two. Buckeye Salute. So I don't want you to get too overwhelmed with Buckeye Salute. It's actually just down the D scale with a few different patterns. So it starts on high D, three on A. Miss McGarry, could you please stop session 3005? Miss McGarry, could you please stop session 3005? Sorry, announcement. All right, so it goes like this. Three fingers on A to start. So three, 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 two, 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 right on down the line. One, one. Let's play together. Three on A to start. Ready? Here we go. Three. Three, three. today. I'll see you next time live and in person. Mwah. Thank you for your hard work. Bye.